Hello everyone. Hi Vatsal, welcome you all to my channel and today I am going to show you how to fix Bluetooth device not working on Windows 11. So there are two methods to fix this issue. Method number one has two steps. So the step number one is just go to the search bar and now in the search bar just type services. Click on the search result services and now just click on Bluetooth support service. Now right click over it and click on properties option. Now just change the startup type from manual to automatic. Now just click on the apply button and if the service status is stopped in your system then just click on the start button to start it. Click on the ok button. Now you have to do the same thing for the bluetooth audio gateway service just above it and Bluetooth user support service. So just make sure that their startup type is automatic and they are running. If they are not running then just click on the start button to start them. So after starting these three services just close this window. So this was step number one. Now let's move to the step number two. Go to the start button, right click over it and click on device manager option. Now just expand this Bluetooth and now just uninstall all the drivers under this Bluetooth. So just click on the first driver, right click over it and click on uninstall device option. Click on uninstall button. Now do the same thing for the other drivers also. Just uninstall them all the drivers. Just remember one thing, do not check this option, attempt to remove the driver for this device. Do not check it, just click on the uninstall button. So the bluetooth driver is now uninstalled completely. Now we will reinstall it. So just Go to the action menu at the top and under action menu just click on this option scan for hardware changes. So you can see that the bluetooth drivers are now installed back. Now next thing that you have to do is you have to update all the drivers under the bluetooth. So just select the first one, right click over it and click on the option update driver. Click on the first option search automatically for drivers. So it will search the internet for the updates and if it find any update then it will show it here. And you just have to install it by clicking on the install button. But if in your system it shows the message like this, the best driver for your device are already installed, then just click on this arrow icon to go back and click on the second option browse my computer for drivers then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer then just select this model the first one bluetooth device and click on the next button click on the close button now you have to do the same thing for the other drivers also so just select it right click over it click on update driver click on the first option if it shows the updates then just install it but if it shows this message the best driver for your device are already installed then just go back click on browse my computer for drivers click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer click on intel wireless bluetooth click on next button click on the close button now let's do it for the other two also And now we are done. Just close this window. And now just check whether your issue is resolved or not.
Now if you are facing problem in adding the Bluetooth device on your system, then just try to add the Bluetooth device now. Let me show you how to do it. There is a proper way to do it. So suppose if you are trying to add the Android mobile phone on your system, then what you have to do is, just go to the start button, right click over it and click on settings option. Now in the left hand side just click on Bluetooth and devices option. Now in the right hand side just click on add device. Now click on Bluetooth option. Now what you have to do is, you have to go to the Android mobile phone now and then just turn on the Bluetooth first. After turning on the Bluetooth on your phone, you have to go to the settings app on your mobile phone. In the settings app, you will see a option Bluetooth. Just click on it. And now just wait for few seconds in that Bluetooth option. And you can see that the Bluetooth device is now showing. Just click on it. Now click on the connect button and just click on the pair button shown in your mobile phone. And you can see that the device is now connected and it is paired also. Click on the done button. And now you can send or receive files between your mobile phone and the computer. And now just close this window. So this was method number one. If still the issue is not resolved in your system, then let's move to the method number two. What you have to do is, just go to the start button, right click over it and click on settings option. Now go down and click on troubleshoot option. Click on other troubleshooters. And now for the bluetooth option, just click on the run button. So this is the bluetooth troubleshooter. It will automatically find the Bluetooth related problems in your system and fix them also. So you can see that it is showing fixed. Now just click on the close button. And now just check whether your issue is resolved or not. So this was method number 2. Now one additional thing that I want to tell you is that if on clicking this Bluetooth and devices option, if this on off button is missing, then this is a completely different problem. I have created a separate video for it shown in the above i button so just click the above i button to watch the video on bluetooth on off button missing in windows 11 and it will fix your issue so these were the two methods that you can try out to fix bluetooth device not working on windows 11 so that's it from my side if you like my video you can click on the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching